Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you guys another update on my daughter Jennifer. Um, this I think will be the third update and I want to apologize that I have myself have not been posting much on Facebook um, and nothing obviously on YouTube. But uh, this one is just going to be kind of down and dirty. I haven't had a chance to be able to do, I won't be able to have any time to really do any editing of any sort. So this is just totally unedited. Um, Today's Friday, um, October 21st. Uh, it's one, uh, it's basically one month short of um, Jennifer getting hit in the first place as she got hit in September 22nd. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. You, there's been so many of you that have been sending your prayers and wishes and you know doing the uh, you know donating through GoFundMe or sending us a check um, or sending us money through Zelle or, you know whatever we've had a lot of different ways that people have been sending us money and prayers cards um, I, I'm not prepared today to be able to do it but I'm gonna I'm gonna list every one of you I've been logging every one of you down um, that has you know sent a card or or a, um, you know something in the mail, something that's not visible uh, through GoFundMe. Uh, I've been thanking everybody through the GoFundMe. So if you guys have donated and you guys haven't, you know I haven't said anything to you. It, it's uh, I have said something to you. Just go look at the GoFundMe and look under the donations tab. And you'll see it that I'm thanking every each and one of every one of you. Um, there's a couple things I want to I want to touch base with before I go any further, and I'm going to make this as, as fast as I possibly can. But um, a friend of mine, a new friend of mine that actually lives in our neighborhood, came over to me, and she showed me on a Facebook group that I was not aware of, and I was not aware of the attorney's website either, and I have not had a chance to uh, reach out to them to make them retract it, but. Um, there was some false information that was posted on the internet that that Jennifer had died. Um, I'm here to tell you, no, she has not died, um, and she is fighting, and she's fighting hard. So um, I just wanted to let you know that I, I'm going to see if what I can do to get that retracted. Um, the uh, I I don't know why the attorney would do that. They actually that we. We had a uh, we had Fox 40 in Sacramento. They came out. They did a story on Jennifer's accident, and um, and that was wonderful. But these people are quoting that Fox 40 gave them this information, and that is completely wrong. They've got Jenny got hit on the 22nd, um, and uh, they're saying that it was on the 23rd. Um, Jenny was not life flighted at first. She was sent to the local hospital, which was about 20, 20 miles north of her accident, and then they realized that they couldn't handle her, so they life flighted her to UC Davis in Sacramento. So um, he, their story is saying that she was immediately life flighted. She was not. Um, and even though she probably should have been, but we'll leave that for another time. Um, but there's, then at that point, then they said that she had passed away. Uh, she has not passed away. Uh, she is now expected to recover. To what extent, they don't know. Um, I had a meeting, uh, Jennifer and I had a meeting with, with the doctors yesterday, my wife Jennifer. Um, we had a meeting with the doctors yesterday and the day before, and they are saying that it's a long road um, and that they can't really tell me what's going to happen. Her body's going to heal. It's on the mend. All the surgeries with her arm are completed. Uh, the, um, basically what's happening with the kidney is that they were able to, when they first described it, they, they used the word shattered and I didn't understand that but today I had one of the doctors show me an MRI and I understand now basically what has happened with the she's got a little between a half and three quarters of her left kidney left that's intact the other part kind of just disrupted and came apart so it's a combination of the debris and the um, and the blood that was left over from that so um, 
So anyway, that's kind of what we're at. It's uh, her kidney is functioning, but it's leaking. They said that they can't go in right now and fix the leak. They're hoping that it will actually fix it on itself um, because they said if they do go up, open it up, they're probably going to have to pull it out. So we're just praying that that this takes that it takes and that she can recover from that. But her body injuries are going to be the lesser of the problem. You know, she has she definitely has front lobe. Uh, brain damage. She's also got the brain stem. A lot of the function that they thought the, she wasn't going to have, she's starting to regain. Um, she does, they are classifying her as conscious, but, you know, because she opens her eyes, but she doesn't really track yet. Um, so it, it's one of those things where it's just going to take time to do that. Um, but I just, I just wanted you guys to know where we're at. Um, they are, she's still in ICU, so they're going to be transferring her probably in the next 10 days to another, uh, another floor. And then after that, they'll, they'll be trying to figure out exactly what to do. Hopefully she will regain a lot of her, her skills ahead of time. Um, but, you know, they're hopeful, but they're not really thinking that's going to happen for a, a much longer down the road. So she may have to go to a long-term care facility. Uh, so, um, what I'm finding out is there's only one here in Sacramento and the rest of them are in the Bay Area. So I'm hoping that we will be able to be lucky enough uh, to be able to have uh, or be able to be placed there if that's where she has to go. Otherwise, you know, it, it, we won't be able to go see her every day obviously because, you know, that's just too long of a drive. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping that the that the problems that we've had um, will s start to subside. Uh, you know, I don't think you guys. I, I don't think I could make all this stuff up. The amount of stuff that we've had going on uh, this last week, and this is part of the reason I haven't been able to update. Um, you probably saw some of it on Facebook, and uh, and but I'm just going to tell you real quick. We went for Jennifer's last, um, her last arm surgery, and it was, uh, we go to get in, in my wife's uh, C7, and um, battery wouldn't, uh, the car wouldn't start, the battery was dead. And um, as, unlike you can hear it starting right now, um, but it wouldn't start. So I said, okay, well, we'll just take the 88 and we'll go there. Um, because we were on a pinch for time to get there. And we didn't get maybe a mile away from the house. Almost in the exact same spot where Jennifer got hit, our, the back driver's side tire blew out. Um, so, <laughs> so we ended up you know, having to get, get towed home and that type of stuff. And so then a few days later, we needed to go again to be able to talk to the doctors to be able to have this conversation earlier this week and on the way there our Escalade over started overheating and turned out the water pump went out so you know again like I said you can't make this stuff up trust me um, but you know we got all of this stuff done we actually got some you know good news from the doctors today that she's they're able to start pulling one of the drains out of her her uh, kidney and um, so they're hopeful that it's going to start closing up. So, um, so anyway, uh, guys, that's all I can tell you. I'm not going like I'm not going to do any editing or anything like that. I'm going to simply put her GoFundMe account information right in the bottom of the uh, in the description, and we'll go from there. So, um, if you guys haven't already donated and you and you are you know you're in a position that you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. It'll really help Jennifer out. So guys, thank you again for watching. I'll give you another update as soon as I know something. Okay? Thanks a lot.